before that, a painting commissioned to honour hospital workers. Continued dedication has been unveiled at South the Princess of Wales Hospital in Bridge End. The presentation of the artwork took place today and our correspondent Dean Thomas Welch was there to meet the artists and the health staff as they saw it for the very first time. Meet Sophie Cook. The 24-year-old became a nurse just as Covid hit. Now she's been immortalised in a commemorative portrait at Prince of Wales Hospital in Bridgend, honouring the dedicated work of all NHS staff during the pandemic. It was hard, it was challenging, um, and it was frightening. It was the uncertainty of not knowing what we were going to come into work um, and experience every day. But I have the most amazing um, ED family. Um, we, we call ourselves a dysfunctional family, and without them, I don't think I would have been able to do it. Just the support. Um, from them, um, yeah, they're amazing. It's, it's beautiful and I feel really overwhelmed and proud um, to be part um, of such a, you know, an amazing thing. The portrait was unveiled today and takes private place in the main corridor of the hospital. Tom Weaver is the man who commissioned the work. He's part of the Bridgend Disabled Veterans, who for years have been carrying out what they call random acts of kindness. When I was on the front line, I was a soldier. And then you've got, um, you've got all the hospital staff and they've been overwhelmed by this deadly virus, the pandemic, and they didn't even know if they were going to, um, uh, you know, they, they were the next one going to be on the ventilator. The hope in the painting remind people what um, the pattern with the hospital does. So, the painting blends past and present, depicting Florence Nightingale working in a ward. Artist Mick Dyer and Tom served together 40 years ago. And you've got to try and make it uh, realistic, but also uh, have the two different concepts of modern hospital and the Crimean War at the time. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it comes some good ideas at the time, so I'm happy with it. So. As we hopefully leave behind the pain of the past two years, it's important we don't forget those who bravely worked to keep us all safe. Dean Thomas Welch, ITV News.